Hey everyone, today we're making a healthy chicken and rice bowl with peanut sauce. This thing is delicious. It's got a little bit of grated carrot in it and some cucumber and the flavors with the sauce. That's where it's at. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. Why did the man smear peanut butter on the road? <laughs> to go with the traffic jam. <laughs> We're going to start off here with our recipe uh, preparing our chicken thighs. I'm using boneless, skinless, and you want to just trim up any excess fat here on the chicken. And then we're going to cut each piece into bite-sized pieces. Now I like to use chicken thighs because they stay tender and juicy and they don't dry out like chicken breast. But if you prefer chicken breast, you certainly can use it. Once we get our chicken all trimmed up and cut into bite-sized pieces, then we're going to work on our sauce for this. In my bowl here, I have a couple tablespoons of honey, and to that I'm going to add some tamari sauce, which if you're not familiar, it is a gluten-free version of soy sauce. We're going to add some rice vinegar, and then we're going to grate up a little bit of fresh garlic. We'll give that a good stir, and then we're going to pour this right over our chicken and marinate it for about one to two hours. Now you want to give this a good stir so that you marinate all the chicken. I'm going to cover this with some saran wrap and in the refrigerator it goes. While our chicken is marinating, we're going to work on our carrots. So I've got some shredded carrots here. You can either grate your own or buy them already shredded. Next we're going to add just a little bit of toasted sesame oil. This gives it such an amazing flavor. And in case you're wondering, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. And to this, we're going to add the juice of one fresh lime. This light little dressing just gives a little interest to the carrots so that they're not just plain. We'll finish this off with a little sprinkle of salt, and then we'll give it a good toss. Next up, I'm going to prep up my cucumber. So I'm going to peel this. I'm using organic, by the way. I'm going to peel this up, and then I will just chop it up into small pieces. Here I decided I wanted the pieces smaller, so I cut the cucumber in half and then I just chopped it all up. Here we'll just place everything in a bowl and it's ready to go when we are ready to put this dish together. Now I'm going to prep up what I think is the star of the show, and that is the peanut sauce. So I'm going to combine some tamari sauce, the rice vinegar, some coconut sugar, and then I'll give that a little stir to start dissolving the sugar. And now I'm going to add the peanut butter. I'm using Laura Scudder's here. It just has peanuts and salt in the ingredient list. And now for just a little touch of heat, I'm adding some sriracha sauce. Now I'm using a tablespoon, but feel free to use more if you like a little more heat. Now mixing this up is going to take a little bit of time. Just the peanut butter makes it harder to mix in. So I found that turning the whisk with my hands, like you see here in the video, made it really easy. Now, as you can see here, the sauce got very thick. So plan on adding some water to this to get it to the consistency of nice and creamy and basically pourable. So continue adding a little bit of water at a time, say maybe a quarter of a cup, maybe a little less, and just blend it up until you get a consistency something like this. I store my peanut sauce in a mason jar and that works really great. And you'll probably have leftovers and that's fine. You can use this on all kinds of dishes. I like it on sandwiches. I like it on salads. Just thin it down as much as you need to and it grows great on a salad. It must be time for chef joke number two. Why couldn't the sesame seed leave the gambling casino? Because he was on a roll. Now before I start cooking the chicken, we need to prepare our rice. So I'm just cooking some basmati rice according to the package directions. And that would take about 15 minutes. Now we can start cooking our chicken. I have a large frying pan here over medium heat and I've added some olive oil to the pan. Let's give it a little swirl and that way it'll get nice and hot. I'm using a slotted spoon here so that I leave the sauce in the pan. I just want the chicken really into the pan. Now we're going to hang on to this sauce, so don't toss it out. We're going to add some thickener to it and add it back when the chicken is done cooking. I'm also going to season up the chicken with a little bit of salt, and we're going to cook this probably five minutes per side. It's been about five minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. 
After about 10 to 15 minutes of total cooking time, you're gonna to wanna to check the chicken by cutting a piece in half and looking for any pink. This will look done to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this from the pan and place it in a bowl to keep warm. So you can see I have some sauce left over in the pan. So we're gonna leave that in there and we're gonna add the other sauce that I had saved to the pan. Here I have a combination of a tablespoon of cold water and a tablespoon of arrowroot, which is a thickener for our sauce. So just mix that up until it's nice and liquidy. I'm gonna bring the sauce to a boil like you see here, and then I'm gonna slowly add the thickener while stirring constantly. Now I only added as much as I needed to make the sauce as thick as I wanted it, okay? So don't necessarily add all of it in. Give it a good stir and see what you think. For me, I felt this was the right consistency. Not too thick, not too thin. Now we'll pour this sauce right over the chicken. And now we're ready to start putting this dish together. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, go ahead and smash the like button for me. I ended up taking this dish to a bunko party, so I didn't put it together till then. Uh, and I just put everything as you see it here on the, on the serving dish. And everybody seemed to really enjoy this. I put the peanut sauce on the rice and I had a dish next to the plate so that people can add it to their whole dish. And it was a hit. And I have to say, I think the peanut sauce is the star of the show. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by smashing the old like button and leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any recipe requests. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.